Hi there, my Leos, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of April the 16th through to the 22nd. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. I just want to make a quick um, note for you guys that if you want to, follow me on Instant Go. It's for iPhone and iPad users. It's not available just yet for Android, but it is a free app. You can go and... Uh, Get the, the, get the app and you'll find me there. Okay, let's get on with your reading. First of all, Leo, we have the Four of Pentacles in the upright, followed by the Three of Pentacles reversed. And next we have the Five of Cups in the reverse, followed by the King of Swords upright. And lastly, we have the Six of Wands in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Leo, for your overall energy, you have the Four of Coins, the Four of Pentacles in the upright position. This is my little hoarder card. <laughs> Are some of you hoarding? Do you need to do a garage sale? Maybe you do. For others of you, you're just holding on too tightly. Sometimes this card will come up um, for finances when we feel like we don't have enough uh, finances, so we're kind of holding on. Or sometimes this card will come up when we're saving up for a specific thing, maybe to buy a car or buy a home or to move or to uh, travel, that kind of thing. So for some of you, maybe you are just in... Um, um, saving mode for others of you you could just be holding on a little bit too tightly to material goods you could be holding on a little bit too tightly to your emotions to your feelings and not wanting to um, share so I'm not really sure what's going on there Leo's you'll have to leave me a comment in the comment section below let me know what that's good what that's about for um, coming into the week, you have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse position. Three of Pentacles energy when it's upright, this is when we're on the same page with a team. This a lot of times comes up when we're working together to gain an end, uh, such as on a project where we're all working together to make um, to make money. Um, it, it can represent co-workers, that kind of thing, and getting along and being on the same page. When it's inverted like this, this can sometimes mean where we're not seeing eye to eye with um, our business partners, with our co-workers, that kind of thing. Maybe something has happened and we're upset with um, a situation or a decision that has come down and <clears throat> we're just sometimes that happens especially at work it can't always be you know sunshine and rainbows it's uh, a lot of times it, it there can be some complications and problems with uh, our workmates and so forth even people working on projects together sometimes you know you hit a snag and all of a sudden people are just not cooperating anymore um the next card up is the Five of Cups in the reverse position. The Five of Cups, I prefer to see this energy reversed as opposed to upright, because when it's upright, this is sort of like um, a fresh emotional wound. It can sometimes represent loss, and where we're focusing more on the loss than on uh, what we still have left over. When it's inverted like this, we're healing. We're finally coming out of that. Sometimes this card will come up when it's an old situation that... Um, has already happened uh, maybe whatever this work situation is for some of you maybe this has happened before in the past and it's just sort of bringing back those memories but it's not as fresh as it was the first time it happened that kind of thing for others of you this could just be representing getting over an emotional a breakup or a loss of some kind and you're moving past it and you're healing now so it's good energy now, moving towards the weekend of the 20th, 21st, you have the King of Swords in the upright position. It is a court card, so this could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, it could be a uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. This could be, for some of you, this could be representing your boss. It could be representing your significant other. Um, this is someone, the King of Swords is very harsh with their truth. Um, they come through... It's good in a way because if you're looking for clarification, if you're looking for somebody to straighten out the uh, situation, say it is a work situation, the King of Swords is the person to go to to get him to clear, uh, clear things up because this person, uh, that's what he's all about. He's run the gauntlet. He's at the head of his, uh, his field, which is communication. And if anybody can straighten it out, it's usually him when he's in the upright. 
um, this person can tell you exactly like it is, can be a little bit harsh sometimes to deal with and harsh to hear because he doesn't mince his words and he doesn't worry about uh, adding emotion into it. He just tells it like it is. For others of you, this could even be representing, uh, the King of Swords sometimes represents legal matters and this could be a, um, a uh, judge or a police officer or a lawyer even. But he's in the upright again, so this person could be uh, giving you some legal advice even maybe about a situation. And the last card it's paired with is the victory card. You have the six of wands in the upright position. So I think for any of you who are perhaps dealing with a legal situation, Leo, towards the weekend, I think it's going to go in your favor because you have the king of swords in the upright and the, um, uh, the six of wands upright, which is card of victory and success. So... And even if this is a work situation and this King of Swords is representing, say, your boss, it could be that he straightens out the matter and you end up, um, you know, being the victor in this situation. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting read here, Leo. It seems like there's something maybe at the beginning of the week that kind of goes away, but it looks like it all gets uh, straightened up by the weekend. I hope this reading helped you, Leo. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye for now.